and we will use the view product of our Denodo training database. Let's start with endorsements. To endorse this view, go to the Summary tab and choose the option Collaborate Endorse. We can then click on and write a comment in the dialog that pops up. We will now add a comment to this view to show our support to other users, as you can see on the screen. Once done, click OK. Now, next to the Endorse By label, you have the number of endorsements on this view and their authors. Move the mouse over an author to see their comment. You can also click on the number of endorsements to check all the comments at once. Take into account that you can only endorse a view once if you write a new comment. The previous endorsement will be replaced. Next we will see how to add warnings to a Denodo view. To add a warning to a view, we will use the Warn option under Conglaboration. After clicking it, we will get a dialog where we can write this comment. We will now add a warning as you can see on the screen. Click OK once done. Next to the Warning By label, you have the number of warnings on this view and their authors. Remember that you can only write one warning against a view. Finally, it's time to learn how to add deprecation. We will now go to another view to demonstrate the deprecation. To write deprecation notes to a view, we will use the deprecation option of collaboration. We will click on it to add deprecation notes to users to inform them that the view is or will be obsolete. In the dialog, we will now add a deprecation note as you can see on the screen. Click OK once done. If the view is deprecated, you will see the icon in the toolbar and a notification will appear every time you access the view. Great, now we learned about working with the new collaboration features of Data Catalog.